Hey everyone, MTV's Christina Garibaldi here, and we are still buzzing from all the excitement from the 2015 VMAs. I'm here with style icon Nicole Richie and singer-songwriter Tori Kelly, who was fresh off her very first VMA performance of Should Have Been Us, and it was absolutely amazing. So much fun, very surreal for me. Tori, you were so good, congratulations. Your voice was so powerful. You looked so gorgeous. We did do something fun with the eye. We did like a little cat eye, but with like a shimmer on top. It's like a double line. I absolutely loved your look. And it's true, like you have to pick what you're going to accent. With that eye, it was just subtle, but it was definitely like a statement. It looked really good. As far as the makeup last night, a trend I really did see was no makeup makeup look. I think somebody that did it really well was Bella Thorne. Yeah, she definitely looks really fresh. I like the kind of subtle lip action going on. There's like a natural kind of dewiness, but it works. Another person that did it really well was Sierra. It was such an elaborate dress and there was so much going on with it that um, there kind of was no need to do a lot with the face. She definitely has eyeliner on, but it seems like her eyeshadow and her blush and her lipstick, it's all very tonal, which you were seeing a lot this year. Starting with just that fresh, clean face is always, I think, the best place to start because every look kind of builds off of that. All right, so I think a really good way to stand out on the red carpet is playing up the eye. I think um, a group that did this really well last night was Fifth Harmony. I love these girls. I like how it goes with their outfits too. It's, there's not a lot of bright colors. Yeah, you can see um, the range of how many different looks you can accomplish with just eyeliner and mascara um, because they all did it, but they did it in a very different way. Yeah, and somebody else that did it in a different way was Lily Aldridge. So gorgeous. Um, she looks like a movie star. I think it's kind of fun to try and get the cat eye thing right. Yeah, yeah you, have to, you have to play with it. Right. So I think no red carpet look is complete without going full on with the lashes. I think somebody that did it really well at the VMAs was Kylie Jenner. With her dress, she had this kind of goldish dress and she just did the cat eye and the mascara. So the lashes really, really popped. Right. Yeah, and another person that also did this really well, but also very differently, was Selena Gomez. I mean, all I see in this picture is lashes. Yeah, I like how she went overall, it's like a grungy goth mm -hmm. vibe right. happening, which I'm really digging. The eye goes straight to her lashes, looks really good. Like a smoky eye too, I love it. Yeah. You'll notice people that did the dramatic eye, they had a nude lip. Selena and Kylie kind of both nailed that, you know, taking the dramatic look, but also, you know, kind of toning it down with the lip. To get the natural lip, it's not like they don't have anything on their lips. I think there's definitely like a way to do it. And I think somebody that really nailed that was one of our pre-show co-hosts, Nessa. I mean, it really doesn't even look like she has anything on, but yeah. obviously she does. I love the nude lip look, it helps people recognize the eye even more because that's where your eye goes. Yeah. So you kind of want to bleach out everything else and then just to have this, you know, this focal point. Right, and especially like what we said before, with such a dramatic dress, you want to make sure that at least one thing is toned down a little yeah. bit, right Tori? I definitely agree, yeah. And she has this cool like blue thing happening. Yeah. I think it's cool she chose to, you know, to tone everything yeah. down. It looks beautiful. And there's so many different versions of a nude lip. Like you can have it be a little peachy, a little glossy. You can do like just straight nude where it looks like you don't have a lip at all. Um, there's just many different ways to do it. Yeah. All right girls, I think it's safe to say that the VMAs had a ton of great beauty moments. Thank you so much for coming by and talking beauty and VMAs with me. It was such a pleasure right. talking with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to catch up with makeup expert and YouTuber Amanda Steele. This girl literally has millions of followers who all want to learn how she achieves these looks. So we, or Amanda rather, are going to show you that it's actually not as hard as you might think. Hey guys, I am here with Amanda Steele. Now you had your very first VMAs. Tell me all about it. Was it the best time ever? Yeah, it was amazing. I got to be a beauty correspondent, so it was really awesome being on the carpet and seeing all the red carpet looks. And the performances were amazing. Oh my God, so great. All right, so Amanda, you are here because you are an expert in all things beauty. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing everyone how to get a bunch of looks from the carpet. Awesome, let's do it. So one of the big trends that we saw on the red carpet was this clean, natural face, mm -hmm. right? I definitely want to go for a concealer mm -hmm. and a foundation. Yes. A lot of people have problems with finding their perfect shade, but mm -hmm. once you do find it, you try some things out, you find the color that works, it will be awesome and it will look a lot more natural and glowy, which is what we're going for. Definitely. And on top of the glowy skin, just adding like a nice blush to the cheek, something really simple will just make you glow even more. 
So I love this look on the red carpet. It was the cat eye. Mm -hmm. Saw a lot of people rocking it. It's one of my go-to looks, really. Doing it right now. Yeah, it's good. I have it on. <laughs> um, I always like to wear the winged eyeliner, and it's a little bit difficult at first. Make sure that you're twirling the mascara wand through your lashes and getting from root to tip. It will really lift them and open up your eyes. And you can even put it on your lower lashes, uh -huh. too. It will give it like a lot more drama. So a big trend that we saw at the VMAs was a nude light lip. You know, it complemented the dramatic eye, I thought. Yeah, definitely. I think it's great to pair with a dramatic eye, like a smoky eye or something. What I went for was kind of a peachy nude color, which I think just went well with the eyes too. But you can do a bunch of different kind of nude colors, different tones like pink tones or actual nude colors, peachy. There's a lot of things you can try. All right, thanks, Amanda. I hope you had a great time at your first VMAs. Thanks. Sure. If you want to relive your favorite moments from the VMAs, make sure you head on over to MTV.com. And if you want to learn how to get a VMA beauty look, go to CoverGirl's YouTube channel. To get Tori Kelly's VMA look, click on the video.